think it went much. But we love having people around. He loves trout, don't you? Oh, I do. The soft pink flesh. So delicate. Can't he stand anything too fishy? I know you can't, don't worry. It's soft and delicate. She hates anchovies, then. I can't stand anchovies. Don't get me wrong, it's not the salt. It's the fishiness I can't stand. It's astringent. Don't worry, I've given them up. And curry, that's the worst. Ah, we're keeping the chart. Think of doing a cookbook. For lesbians. I've got to have a hobby. <laughs> I just started working at Jess at and was looking for somewhere to grab lunch when I spotted her dad's deli. When I stepped through the door, I don't know, it was as if she was already hooked. <laughs> I was. So was I when you made me that sandwich. She couldn't even take her eyes off me. You can take your eyes off my baguette. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like being called creme brulee? Not really. I find it a bit racist. How come? She's taking the mick out of my Celtic jeans. My pale skin and my flaming red top. You've got brown hair? Aye, I know. I dyed it. She still calls me creme brulee though. She's not even one of my favourite puddings. Is it hers? No. Orange and dark chocolate mousse. We didn't get together for ages, did we? No. I kept coming in. Yep, every day. Every single day. And I was hoping she was going to ask me out. But I just kept ordering all these sandwiches. <laughs> just so I could see her every day. And I tried all these different recipes. I surprised myself with some of the concoctions I came up with. Oh. Cheese and mango chutney. Can you remember that one? Aye. It's not much point me going in the deli anymore. It means I don't have to leave the office. Well, I still take my lunch break though. I think it's important too. I just look at Facebook or something. <laughs>